Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. Uh, and f I think for the first time, I don't recall this happened, uh, the, the chairwoman uh, of Tesla, uh, Robin uh, Denholm, uh, had an interview. She was part of the Ron Barron uh, investment group. Uh, I think there was a gala or something uh, yesterday. And uh, she and Ron uh, Barron uh, together interviewed to CNBC. It's a very good interview. CNBC did a very good job. Uh, and she talks a little bit about her background. She's been in the company with Tesla for five years. And she is, she does have a, a tremendous um uh, tech and auto uh, industry experience working for uh, Toyota uh, in the past. One of the things she, she really, in my opinion, uh, shatters a lot of uh, myths about Elon Musk and the way he runs his company. The course of the last year. Well, Becky, um, I've been on the board for five years before uh, as at this point in time, and so uh, we've formed a good working relationship, and, and actually I think it's um, it's a joy to be in that environment, both from a Tesla perspective, but also with working with, with Elon as well. So you knew him for a long time beforehand. How did your relationship change, or just the way you work together change, as you took on the role of chairman? How, how often do you see him? How much Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously we have our regular board meetings but uh, but we also have conversations in between and so they're uh, they, they're relatively regular uh, but you know sometimes there are more than others and you know it's a it's a good working relationship you are uh, somebody who's got an incredibly impressive background both in technology and in auto companies as well you worked at Toyota uh, most recently before you took this job uh, you were the chief operating officer at Telstra so you've got a, a very good working knowledge base somebody who has looked over so many different issues and, and had so much experience. What types of conversations do you have with Elon? What, what types of things do you talk about now? Yeah, I mean, my background in terms of uh, both operational and financial uh, roles, and I've zigzagged between the two, uh, irrespective of uh, which company. Uh, and I've always been very focused on making sure that we're driving long-term shareholder value for, for uh, the company. And so uh, as a board member, I take that responsibility very seriously, and as do the rest of my peers. And, um, you know, in terms of conversation, they can be very varied. They could be, um, you know, things that are going on in the company, uh, you know, whether it's uh, from an employee perspective or uh, future plans in terms of uh, different things, different operational issues or financial issues. Um, the team's very focused and very accomplished at doing many things. And uh, as you can see from the results yesterday, they're, uh, they're doing very well. So, yeah. so Elon is totally focused, laser focused, on cost of operations. And what he does, in my, you know, my observation, he listens. So when you say something to him, it makes sense, he listens. In fact, he has his teams of young people throughout the organization telling him constantly, Elon, and, and uh, Jerome, for example, will have regular meetings with his staff and say, what can we do better? And then he says, if they come up with an idea, they show it to Elon, and then he does it. As you see, she emphasizes the importance of people, uh, and uh, how, uh, uh, Elon, how Elon Musk gives people um, the ability to express themselves and to be creative and the leeway to think big and to think creatively, which is really, really important. And uh, he acts very, very quickly. She also uh, talked about the China uh, factory and how uh, uh, Tesla actually owns the factory. It's very unusual for China and uh, how the Chinese uh, uh, factory in Shanghai is going to start producing um, uh, Teslas very, very quickly. And that is an incredible. So uh, she's a very impressive uh, woman. And Ron Barron is really one of my favorite people. So guys, let me know what you think about this interview. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.